Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, friends, I'm going to be going ahead and ranking and having a look at the 10 best epic rarity skins in Fortnite. Now, I think epic rarity skins are some of the best looking skins in the game because, you know, they're not like the legendary skins that can be way too detailed and, you know, like overly like bright and they just stand out in game, but they're not too boring like some of the uncommon skins, um, you know. So I think this is a perfect, a perfect middle ground, I guess. And I like using a lot of these epic rarity skins. And, you know, if you guys want to see future videos talking about maybe the best uncommon rarity, rarity skins and the best rare rarity skins make sure you do drop a comment in the comment section below and you can also show me that you guys want to see this video by going ahead and smashing the like button as well as subscribing to the channel and also be sure to chuck on the notification bell to set today with all of my videos coming in the future of the channel but guys we're gonna go ahead and begin this right now and also of course if you guys buy anything from the item shop make sure to use supporter credit code cosmos ftw inside of the item shop i'd appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and do that but yeah we're gonna go ahead and actually look through my locker and you know i have a lot of epic rarity skins and these are of course my 10 personal favorites so i think it'd be the best idea to look through my locker at all of the epic rarity skins i got because if i see a good epic rarity skin in the shop i'm 100 percent gonna buy it so i have i think what i would say most of the best you know, epic rarity skins in the game. Now, lads, this video is going to be really cool. Let's go. We're get, if you guys don't know how this works, we're going to start off. We go through basically all of my epic rarity skins here, and I'm going to favorite my 10 favorite epic rarity skins, and we're going to have a look at the end of the game at my 10 favorites. So we're starting off here with the Alpine Ace. You know, I think this is a great skin, but I don't think, you know, we have a lot of, a lot, a, I mean, a lot of competition in this video. I don't think the Alpine Ace is going to be there. However, the Bandolia, man, I really, really do like this skin. I think it's kind of underrated, you know. I don't think many people talk about the Bandolia that much. Definitely the Bandoliette, this one right here. It is a rare outfit. Um, a lot of people talk about that, but not so much about the Bandolia. But I'm going to add that to my top 10, as I love this skin. This is one of my favorite male skins in the game, if I'm going to be honest. I think it looks really, really cool right there. The Battle Hawk. I remember this was a Battle Pass skin, and, you know, it was one of the probably one of the worst Battle Pass skins we've ever seen, in my opinion. It's just really plain and boring and you know i'm not a big fan of that at all the bright gunner here i bought this for the main reason as it came with the bright bag and you know back on the bright bag first released it was a really a really really hyped up back bling so i bought this skin just for the memes really and yeah it hasn't really been my favorite if i'm gonna be honest um yeah i'm not a big fan of the bright gunner there the cloak shadow now this one is a tough one i might come back to this and add this to the list if we have you know, uh, space um, after I've finished through all the other skins. But I'm just looking at these other skins, man, and I'm like, dude, we have a lot of competition here. So, you know what? I'm not going to add him yet. I'm going to wait. But if we need, you know, if we've only got nine spots and we need one more, come back to the Cloak Shadow. The Cobalt, this was, of course, a part of the starter pack. Um, it's one of my less favorite starter packs, if I'm going to be honest. I think we do have a couple more starter pack skins in this epic, you know, I guess, section here that I have. So, yeah, we'll stay tuned for those other ones. The DJ Yonder, obviously, guys, the best skin to ever been released, and, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really not. It really isn't. Um, <laughs> the DJ Yonder is a really bright, a bulky, uh, a skin that just stands out. It's way too bright, and, you know, it's something that you don't want to be using in-game, really, so we're not going to be adding that there. The Dusk, it comes with a really sick back bling, but if I'm going to be honest, I never use this skin, so I'm not going to really add it to my top 10 there. The Iconic, however, man, you know, um, I had this skin, believe it or not. I didn't get the Galaxy, bro. You know, that if I'm going to say one thing. I don't have the Galaxy in this set here. And if I had the Galaxy, I believe it is a purple rarity skin. And if I had that Galaxy, it would be in the top 10. So maybe, you know, I guess... I guess we can add the Galaxy skin to the top 10. I think that is just an amazing skin. I love the Galaxy so much. So, you know, I don't have the Galaxy, however, in my locker, but it is definitely one of my top favorite 10. So we'll, we'll say we have two spots done. We have the Bandolia and, you know, we have the invisible Galaxy skin that I don't have. And our number three spot is going to be the Iconic there, man. The Iconic, absolutely amazing. Love this skin so much. Um, it's, you know, just not, it's a pretty plain, it's not too... Um, bulky, it's not too bright or anything. It's a nice looking skin there. I'm a big fan of that. Now, moving on right now, we have the Elite Agent. Now, the Elite Agent, it's another skin that's going into my top 10 there. Our fourth spot, um, of course, bro. The Elite Agent, it is a great skin. I love both of the styles for this skin. It combos really well with a lot of other back blings as well, so you really can't complain about that. The Embers are Battle Pass skin, this Battle Pass. I think it's decent looking, but it's not going to be one of my favorites, if I'm going to be honest. The Fable, once again, I think it would be the same as the Ember. It's decent looking, not one of my favorites. The Fireworks Team Leader, 
You know, I don't mind this skin at all. Um, I just it's not really my favorite cuddle team leader or my uh, my favorite team leader skin at all. Um, but yeah, dude, the giddy up. Why is this skin even epic? If I'm gonna be honest, this skin is absolutely horrible, man. Um, but the Gingy Gunner here, I'm actually going to add this to one of my favorites there. So we have five spots. We're already halfway through the list, man. See, I'm trying to be as best as I can. Um, but once again, I love this skin so much. I just think the Gingy Gunner is really cool. The Merry Marauder also looks amazing. But I think my personal favorite would have to be the Ginger Gunner out of those two. But um, yeah, dude, moving on again next. We're over to the Huntress skin. The Huntress skin, it's okay. But, you know, we have a lot of competition here. And I've got to be harsh on some skins. The Duke, I'm going to add this to the list for the main reason as it has all these different styles. I love the NFL skins so, so much. They have all these different styles. You can really combo this with whatever you like. Of course, the best style being the lads, the LA Rams there, dude. The absolute lads. Um, but yeah, we're going to be adding that to our list there. So we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six spots, including our Galaxy skin that unfortunately I don't have. I can't believe I missed out on that, bro. We only have four spots remaining, and we have so many skins left. Oh my god, this is going to be tough. Mission Specialist, no way. We're being harsh now. The Lace, uh, mm, that's tough actually, but I don't think it's going to be one of my favorites. The Lucky Rider, definitely not. I don't even know why I bought this skin, if I'm going to be honest. I'm never going to use it. The Marshmallow is really cool, but I think it's probably that head is probably a little bit too bulky for me. I think if, you know, it, that you could have an editable style, maybe when Marshmallow does his face reveal, if he ever does his face reveal, we can get a different style. That would be really cool. Um, the Master Key, you know, he's alright. He, nothing too special in my opinion. The Mor Merry Marauder, I'm not going to add him to the list because we need space for some other skins. The Mogul Master Canada. I really do like that. As I said, Mission Specials, yuck, yuck. Uh, but, you know, Mogul Mask, I don't think it's going to make it on the list here. The Powder, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the Powder, if I'm going to be honest, bro. Um, so we're not going to add that into our top 10. The Peely, man, I know I'm, I'm going to be betraying a lot of you guys out there, all the Peely fan club. Um, you know, I'm sorry, Peely, but you're not going to make it to my top 10, man. Uh, but, you know, this skin is just such... It's, it's a really fun skin to use. You know, if you're playing competitively... It's not the best skin. It's not going to be the most beneficial. But if you're mucking around, it is one of the best skins out there. The Overtaker. You, you, sorry, man. You're not making it onto our list. But the Onesie, man. I think this skin, I don't have the style. I can't believe I don't have the style, man. I just missed out, bro. Um, but, dude, this style looks absolutely amazing on it. And I think, you know, both of the styles, it's amazing. And I'm adding it to my list there. So we have, what, seven now. That's, that's a little bit insane. We have three spots left. This is going to be really, really tough going in and having to look at the last couple here. Um, but, okay, Rapscallion, another one that I'm adding to the list. Easy bop. Rapscallion looks absolutely amazing. However, if you guys want the Rapscallion, I would actually recommend getting the Whistle Warrior instead, as it's basically like the same skin, um, but I think this skin's better and it's cheaper. So, you know, um, but definitely, I love the Rapscallion so much. One of my favorite epic skins by far, and it's right next to the Red Line, which, again is another one of my absolutely favorite uh, epic skins, favorite battle pass skins. It's all, it's, it's amazing. Um, so what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have two, uh, one more spot actually, because we have our galaxy skin. Okay, um, Sidewinder, no, uh, Sanctum, that's not making it. Oh bro, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough actually. I just, I just realized I'm going to have to delete one of these skins off. Bro, I... I might have to take I might have to take the man Bandolia off, lads. We need the extra spots, man, because we have right here. No, no, the rook, man. That's gotta make it. And then we have one more spot right now. We have one more spot, of course. The Sanctum. I love that skin so much. But once again, I think just like the Bandolia, it's just just missing out on the list. Um, you know, these th these skins are pretty trash, trash, trash. And then, you know, probably the number 10 spot is going to be the Sparkle Specialist. I think, you know. This is probably going to be our list right here. The Sparkle Specialist, the Rook, the Red Line, the Rapscallion, the Onesie, the Duke, the Iconic, the Ginger Gunner, the Elite Agent, and then last of all, the Galaxy Skin. So that should make 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is our list right there. You know, we'll have a look through the rest of these skins and see if we can swap anything out, but... Skull Trooper, you know, I love this skin, man. I really do. But I, once again, I don't think it's going to be my favorites. I love the other skins too much. Um, definitely not the Sledgehammer. Definitely not the Slushy Soldier. The Snow Strike, probably not. Neither the Squad Leader, Sub Commander. Pretty ordinary skins here. The Ace, though, was something that I definitely could have added there. Same with the Sun Strider. All absolutely amazing skins. 
Uh, but guys, this would have to be my top 10. So we have the Galaxy skin, the Elite Agent, the Ginger Gunner, the Iconic, the Duke, the Onesie, the Rapscallion, the Sparkle Specialist, the Rook, and the Red Line. I think, you know, if you were like, okay, delete every single other skin um, in your, you know, locker other than these 10, I would be pretty happy, even though it's only 9 on this list. We're adding the Galaxy as well, which I really want, and I think it is definitely one of the best you know, uh, skins out there in the epic rarity section. But guys, anyway, thank you for coming out today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, and also chuck on the notification bell and use supporter creator code COSMOSFTW. Except, lads, I'll see you later in the next video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And anyway, peace out.